You know, you think that you're Mr. Everything. Well, I'm Mr. Anything. You know what that means? When you step in the room with me, I will do anything. Anything to win. Which is why I'm a five-time world champion. And you're a no-time world champion. Remember that. Woo! Woo! Shots fired! Shots fired! What can you do, baby? <laughs> Took him to promo school, Jack. Took him to school. <laughs> oh man! Hey man! We... Oh man! So, uh, what's the big news, Roosevelt? Well, to, in order for me to announce this news correctly, I need to get it from the, the horse's mouth, the man with the plan, the man who put it all together. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to welcome via telephone, Mr. Jody Johnston, the owner of Square Circle Championship Wrestling. Jody, are you on, brother? Yes, sir. I'm on, buddy. How you doing today? I'm doing good. Doing good. Now, you have granted me the opportunity to have this match against Austin Aries. We had him on the show, uh, what, six months ago? About six, seven months ago? Something like that. You take a second or two. And, um, and he came on the podcast, and we did this thing called Promo School, and me and Mr. A Mr. Aries cut a promo against each other in which we challenged each other to a match. And behold, long and behold, we have manifested this opportunity, and you are going to give us that Opportunity. <laughs> Opportunity. Just step in the ring. So tell us about uh, Square Circle Championship Wrestling and tell us why you decided to have this match on your show. Thank you, thank you, Vic, for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Square Circle Champions has been around since 2019. I started the company uh, with aspects of having to grow and getting the best talent in um, on the roster practically ever show. Um, I was lucky to have our champion, which uh, is Mr. Number One, of course, and Mr. Everything himself, uh, Victor Andrews, going up against uh, the number one contender for the SEC Heavyweight Championship, Austin Aries. We're happy to have him on the show. Uh, he won the number one contender spot against uh, the god of the Milky Way Galaxy, and Dominique, on the previous uh, show. And it's going to come going to happen September 21st. Uh, the doors are open at 6 o'clock. Showtime, 7 o'clock. It's going to be in Ferguson, North Carolina at the Mount Pleasant uh, School. Uh, address there is 532 Champion Mount Pleasant Road, Ferguson, North Carolina. We'd love to have you guys please join us. Um, we're very happy to have both of us. We've got several championship matches going on that night, too. Now, now um, I first met you years and years ago, and, and you actually own a comic book store. Um, tell us about your yeah. transition from owning a comic book store to opening up your very first show of your wrestling company, and what, what gave you the motivation to open, um, start running a company? Well, uh, I have, if, if I make it to January, Victor, where I, my, my first Absolutely. I, I, I do want to say that every show I've been to, we've had a sold out show and like the, the building has been very packed to the point where people are pretty much yeah. are standing in the doorway just to watch the show. Um, tell us about the, the hardship of, of running a wrestling company from the ground up. Um, we're getting ready to start doing something ourselves with the best damn wrestling. 
and uh tell us about the hardship about how how that transition is of getting everything started getting a ring uh finding uh buildings and sponsors uh, and things of that nature oh man oh, i don't know where to start it, 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 when things go smooth it's almost too scary it's almost scary if everything goes smooth because you know something bad is about to happen uh, trying to land a venue. If you're trying to get a school, uh, good luck. Uh, you got to jump through hoops to do that. Uh, if, if most people run from the armory, they're usually easier to get. So if you're starting out, that's what I'd recommend you trying to do. And you don't really have to worry about messing up their floors uh, as much, so that's even better. Rent the ring. If you don't own your own ring, that can be a nightmare. You've got to go out and try to find some people that will we'll bring you the ring and on time because, man, if you – you sell all those tickets and all those seats. You got the wrestlers coming. Then all of a sudden, someone drops the ball and they don't bring the ring, and you're screwed. Uh, and all that stuff you got to stress about. You got to stress about the weather. Uh, I mean, it's it's a scary thing when things always mess up. Some wrestlers may catch bump at the last second, but but when it all comes together and everyone shows up, all the fans show up and they call you up and say it was a great show. And they were happy to be there. It makes everything worthwhile. Uh, so far, we've been super blessed. We've only had just a couple of hiccups in the past five years. And right now, everything's going smooth. Now, I hope I didn't jinx the September 21st show by saying that. <laughs> now, everything's going really well. Um, and we've been blessed. Now, now I'm, I'm the current champion for Square Circle Championship Wrestling. And I won the championship from uh, Gunner who used to be Jackson Riker. Yeah. Uh, tell us the the mindset of uh, why you chose Gunner uh, and myself as the first two to compete for the championship. Okay. Uh, well, as you just said, you are a champion. You beat Gunner fair and square inside the square circle. Um, Gunner is actually is local to their area here in uh, uh, North Wilkesboro. He's not quite North Wilkesboro. He was about an hour drive. Um, at the Hickory, lo Hickory location, but uh, it was the two best uh, wrestlers in our area, and I thought to myself, well, it's like, well, I got to get the two best wrestlers together. You know, if it's a square circle champions, then I got to have champions in there, you know, competing for the belts. And I contacted yourself. I contacted Good. Got uh, somehow or another that we got the show going. We got it linked up, and we had a great great turnout and a great match and you are our champion have you been our champion now for over a year uh, i think it's been over a year i think it was was the last july is that that is that right uh, i want to say it's been two years now almost two years oh just two years I can't <laughs> <anything>. <laughs> all right um uh, brian you got any questions yeah man uh i know he you said he had the he runs a uh toy store right what's what's his most valuable item in the store what's the most valuable item in, in our store right now is that that i hear it? i'm sorry I, yes you know, the echo on my end. yes okay uh right now we have um i think the most valuable thing left inside the store after our con that we did we did a clash con a comic book convention about three weeks ago we sold some high dollar stuff then I do have a graded um, issue, uh, first appearance of Moon Knight, The Werewolf by Night. I do have that in there. It's graded like a 6.5. Um, and I do have a graded Fantastic Four issue three. Um, that's probably my two most valuable things that I currently have in the store. Besides, um, I think I still have my um, Spider-Man 2099. Action figure, Marvel Legend, that's up there around eight hundred dollars too. But that's probably the, the 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 most expensive things inside the store currently. Now you obviously have to be a a big comic book fan and, and a toy fan. Um, what is what is your choice between DC and Marvel? Um, mainly go with Marvel. Um, I've mainly started out with uh, the idea of doing a um, hobby store altogether. Um, and uh, it just kind of went on with the comics. We had to start getting the comics in, but I was more of the action figure side of it. Was action figure heavy when I started nine years ago? And of course, we grew into the business. People were wanting DC, Marvel, the independent titles, and of course, 
you know, the movies started coming out around the same time. So it really benefited us. And we just, and we started going from there. Of course, the Marvel movies um, have really helped the Marvel book sales. So I'm going to have to say I'm going to, I'm going to have to go with the Marvel titles right now. Okay. Um, and really quick, uh, and we're gonna, I'm not going to hold you too long, but ladies and gentlemen, I, I want to publicly let you guys know this is the man that helped me get over to Germany to be able to go and, and, and compete over there for Fight Back Wrestling. Uh, me and Jody talk very, very often, and sometimes he, he just contacts me, and I feel like God would be sending him my way sometimes because he just – Pops up out of nowhere. I'm like, hey man, you, you're all right. What you got going on? And I tell him, and and he was the man that actually sponsored my trip to go over to Germany to go over there and and experience what I experienced. And I've told him before, and I'm gonna tell him again. You know, you were a a, a blessing. You've always been a top notch guy since the first day I met you when I came to see a comic book shop and did the autograph signing. And uh, I'm blessed to have you in my life, and I really appreciate you a lot. Happy to have you in my life too, brother. Um, anytime you need anything, you know I'm always here for you. Just give me a call. Um, I wanted, I helped you out, uh, obviously because I wanted to, but I wanted the world to see how I think you are. I think you're a wonderful person. I don't want to show the world how great you are over there too, buddy. And I know you rock the crowd. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we do this thing that we uh, every every week where we give a final word to the fans of motivation or something to kind of keep them uplifted and encouraged. If you could give a final word, what would your final word be to the Best Damn Wrestling Podcast? For all the fans out there, the final words is uh, keep rocking and rolling, doing what you want to do. Um, <laughs> if there's something out there you're dreaming, just do it. You only have one life and rock and roll it just like we do at the Square Circle Champions. Um, uh, I mean, that's probably the best advice and best words that I can probably give you guys. All right, all right. Jody Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Jody, I appreciate you, and I will see you in a couple of weeks. Sounds great, brother. Look forward to it. Thank you for having me. All right. All right. Thank you, Jody. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Got a cat named Jody. <laughs>